welcome to my channel and welcome to the most awaited video so in today's video you are going to experience the unboxing and the complete flip through of the life aroma planner 2024 so in case if you are new to my channel hi my name is Asha I am a content creator and the founder of the newly launched planner brand named the life aroma and we have recently launched our first product which is the 2024 life aroma planner if today's video inspires you to check out our 2024 planner then you can visit our website and make a purchase there and we have a special coupon code this is a coupon code which is specially curated for all my lovely community and you will get some extra discount if you use my coupon code you can also check out all the videos related to the planner launch i will provide all the video links in the description box below you will get a sneak peek of the behind the scenes of starting this planner brand and you can connect with me on a personal level i hope so so i will provide all the links in the description box below definitely check it out also you can follow us on our official page of life aroma this is the instagram handle which you can follow for more future updates and planner related updates now let's straight jump into the unboxing of the life aroma planner 2024 Alright, so here I am proudly holding this planner kit which we have curated for this year. So you will get this in a beautiful box, you will receive this planner box and this box is very sturdy as you can see. So we have this pastel pinkish theme going on with this floral pattern all over the box. The box is durable and you can repurpose it in whatever way you want to. You can keep your stationeries, makeups or anyway you can use it in multiple way. I have intentionally kept the front of the box without the logo so that you can personalize it in your own way and we have done the branding at the back of the box where we have all our social media handles it has clear instructions on how you can connect with us and watch the future planner setup videos to get motivation and stay on track with your planning journey so you will be guided throughout the year with all the planner setup videos if you purchase this particular planner now as you open the box this is what you will receive firstly we have a thank you card inside because it really means a lot to me if you make a purchase and trust my work so you will get a thank you card where we have all the social media handles through which you can connect with us if you have any questions or queries or any doubts in future and on the back of the thank you card you will get a personalized note which is written by me to each one of you and I really wanted to keep it a surprise I won't reveal it in this video because I want it to be a very personal um, heart to heart experience while you will open the box and I want you guys to smile while you read this so I will keep it uh, as a surprise in the box moving on with the planner you will get a sticker book which is named as stylishly organized and it has 16 sticker sheets inside with 400 plus stickers and it is a perfect planner sticker book for everyday use I have included all kinds of stickers that you can use in your planner starting from icon stickers functional daily stickers self-care stickers affirmation stickers and a lot more I will give you a complete flip through of the sticker book in details in my upcoming video so you have to stay tuned for that so I won't be giving you a flip through here because otherwise the video will be long so I will talk about it in a separate video stay tuned for that video let's move on to the showstopper which is the life Arma planner 2024 so as you open the box this ribbon will help you to lift the planner easily let's talk about the physical aspect of the planner so this planner is in pink pastel color it's a light pink pastel beautiful color and uh, I don't know if the camera is doing the justice but in reality it will be a very pink beautiful pastel soothing color to eyes on top of it we have this gold foiling going on and we have a quote here which says design your life live your dreams so this planner is not only meant to help you with your daily planning pages but it will also guide you to build your dream life throughout the year so we have different activities in this planner that I will talk about in a while this is a hardbound planner it's very sturdy and the dimension of the planner is 7 by 9 inch it has a total of 324 pages with 120 gsm paper quality so it's a bleed free planner i promise you that it also comes with a pink pastel color ribbon inside which will act as a bookmark in your planner throughout the year also the binding of this planner is done in such a way that the planner will open flat while you are writing on it so you won't have any difficulties while you are writing on the right hand side of the planner 
or left hand side of the planner it won't be an issue the planner will open flat easily and there will be hustle free writing experience throughout your planning journey now let's look at the inside content of the planner page wise and let me give you a brief explanation of each of the pages um, in details you know so let's uh, open the first page so we have the first page the planner belongs to page where you can write down your name your phone number in case uh, it's lost <laughs> but uh, yeah you can just write down your introduction your name here moving on to the next page we have a little bit detail about our new brand the life aroma we have talked about our mission and i have personally jot down a message in this section and we have all the social media handles here which you can check out for more uh, queries and more video updates in future next to that we have a beautiful quote going on which is at the very beginning of the planner just to inspire you and guide you through the purpose of your life so it says your dream life and positive lifestyle are not destinations to be reached but rather a daily practice of intentional actions and choices that lead you towards your highest potential so uh, this is kind of a reminder that you cannot achieve your dream life or any goal in your life in just one single day it's like a daily actions that you take every single day daily routines that you follow every single day and that will like build up and that will make you a better person and it will guide you towards your dream life that is the motto that i really wanted to uh, get started with uh, in the first page because you know planning is all about uh, doing things on a daily basis and all those daily efforts that you will put every single day will add up towards the life you really want to create for yourself Moving on to the next page we have the 2024 at a glance page and here we have the calendar for 2024 from January to December with all the dates laid out here and we have this section blank section here which you can use in whatever way you want to you can use this to write down the important birthdays anniversaries festivals or any kind of holidays here or even you can use this to write down your like monthly goals maybe you can use this to paste any important highlights important pictures for the month you can also use this section to write down highlights for that particular month so it's versatile you can use it in whatever way you want to but we do have an ample of space here to have your year at a glance and you can just mark any important dates here that's the basic purpose of this page Moving on to the next page we have the year end reflection for 2023 so before you enter the new year 2024 it's very important to reflect back on your previous year and just note down all the highlights for the year all the lessons that you have learned or challenges you have faced so this particular page is all about that so starting with the first section we have to write down the major highlights of the year so you can just jot down all the important highlights from 2023 that you want to cherish and remember for the rest of your life so you can jot it down here then we have this section where you can write down lessons you learned in this particular year so you have this blank space for yourself where you can just jot down anything that you have learned this year that has changed your life in some way or the other down here you have this section where you can write down challenges that you have faced for this year this will help you to be self aware of the challenges that you have faced and you can like take some necessary actions in the upcoming year to not repeat the same thing or not face those same challenges next to that we have this section called 2023 was the year of and you can write down a summary of how your 2023 was so you can write it down in one single word or you can just write a paragraph here about how 2023 treated you um, in a good way or in a bad way whatever it was you can just jot it down here moving on to the next page we have i am grateful for section it is a gratitude section and you can just end the year with some gratitude whatever happened in 2023 whether good or bad just uh, end the year with gratitude so use this section to jot down what you are grateful for till now in your life down here we have a section called conclude the year with a session of journaling so this area is to just journal down your last thought about 2023 so you can use uh, this section to jot down uh, anything that is in your mind you can write down on the 31st of december 2023 and journal down about your entire 2023 or even whatever is there in your mind at that particular point of time and just let it go and just let it stay here 
as a memory i will definitely share with you my planner setup in my upcoming videos so definitely stay tuned for those videos going on to the next page we have a beautiful manifestation exercise called current me versus future me this is a new addition that i have added and basically we have two blank pages here and on one side on the left hand page you have to draw your current self you have to doodle or draw your current self and write down how you are currently and in the right hand side you have to visualize your future self and draw your future self and write down about your future aspirations future manifestations that you have so this is a very beautiful visual manifestation exercise and i will definitely make a dedicated separate video about how you can set up this particular page but the main purpose of this page is to embrace the current self with all your perfections and imperfections and wish for a better future and become a better future self so this is a very beautiful manifestation exercise which you can try moving on to the next page we have the word of the year page so basically a word of the year is a guiding word that you can choose for yourself that will help you that will guide you throughout the year about your main purpose of life so the page starts with setting the intention for the year so you can write down your intention that you have for this particular year so your intention can vary so for someone it can be like hustle for the entire year or for someone it is to slow down for the year and just uh, take it slow anything you can just take it slow so whatever is your intention you can write it down here next to that we have a mind mapping exercise and we have a couple of prompts given here so this will help you to choose your word for the year so we have like six questions given here and you can just mind map and write down your answers to these questions and whatever common area you will find that is going to define your word for the year so this mind mapping exercise is created very intentionally to choose your word for the year so this particular page is totally dedicated about your theme and your word for the year so whenever you are like distracted in the middle of the year about your true purpose for 2024 you can just come back to this page and see your intention and your word for the year moving on to the next page this section will guide you to achieve your dreams and you can like jot down things that you want to do more of and what you want to do less of so here you can make a list of things that you should do for yourself to achieve your dreams faster and things that are stopping you from achieving your dream down here we have this section where you can write down affirmations that you want to stand by and the quote for the year so these two sections are again directly or indirectly related to your word for the year and you can write down some affirmations or quote that will motivate you towards your dream life and to follow your true passion next page is a vision board page it is again a beautiful manifestation method that you can try to achieve your dreams so all you have to do is to pay pictures or quotes or any kind of visual representations of your dreams that you want to achieve so you can just go ahead and use these two sections for your unlimited dreams so as you can see this page I have kept it in a very beautiful sky color because I feel that sky is limitless and so is your dreams so I really wanted to keep this vibe of sky because when you look at the sky it's just limitless and I feel that it should apply to your dreams as well your dreams should be limitless it should not be restricted by any kind of foundation and you have all the freedom to dream in your life and just put it here moving on to the next page we have a whole dedicated page to manifest your dream life so the concept behind this page is that we are all like in a rat race in some way or the other we have dreams for our career for finance for relationship and everything but we like focus on the smaller picture of achieving that dream but we don't focus on the bigger side of it like for example if we want to get into a high paying job so that is a goal but what is the ultimate aim for that goal we just go into this rat race thing and just take more stress and tension and get into a competitive zone at the end of achieving that goal as well but i feel that we should think on a long term basis like the ultimate aim of achieving a high paying job or something like high paying career in our life is to be happy be financially independent and live a beautiful luxurious life but what happens sometimes that in the middle of rat race we forget the ultimate aim of our life that will give us peace and we just get into this competitive zone of rat race so uh, for that reason i have given this section we have some categories 
categories here which are wellness career relationship finances and i have kept one blank space for you guys to enter whatever is important category for you in your life but i have just added four categories which are like common to all and equally important for everyone so first section is to write down your gratitude like what you are grateful for in that particular area of your life at this point so start with gratitude what you are already grateful for and then we have a section for one year from now five year from now and ten year from now so basically in this section you have to manifest where you want to be in that particular category after one year five year and ten year from now five year and ten year from now is definitely a very long period to think about but you can like have a vision or a manifestation for that how you want to see yourself after ten years this will give you a bigger picture of your goal and it will like keep you peaceful and purposeful with your goal and you won't be distracted by all the negative energies around you i know this is kind of a new addition in a planner but definitely i will make a separate totally dedicated video about how you can use this page so that you are guided about it and yeah there is no confusion about filling up this particular page this is very important uh, manifestation technique which i really wanted to introduce and yeah it's here <laughs> so moving on to the next page so from here we have the yearly goal setting page and we have a total of four pages dedicated to this and we have eight goal setting section here i have not given the yearly goals into categories because it may vary for different persons but let me explain you the format so firstly we have to write down a goal here in this section so here you can write down the bigger goal that you want to achieve in 2024 and then we have this section called what is the significance of this goal in your life so you should know your why why you want to achieve this goal because that why is the motivating factor that will help you to achieve that goal so write down the reason why you want to achieve this particular goal and third we have these sections where you have to write down your actionable steps so you can write down your mini actionable steps that you will take throughout the year to achieve that goal moving on to the next page this page is totally dedicated to your routines because because if you have a good routine everything else will fall into place so the first page is totally dedicated for your morning routine and the next page is totally dedicated for your night routine so here you can set your ideal morning and nighttime routine that you really want to follow for the whole year of course every single day is not the same but this two page will guide you to follow that ideal morning routine so take out a moment at the last quarter and just figure out how your morning and your nighttime routine should look like that will help you to stay productive stay organized and stay you know active to achieve your goals and your dream life so let's start with the first page which is the morning routine so first we have a section called morning affirmations you stand by so here you can write down an affirmation that will help you to like wake up every single morning and you should know that solid purpose of waking up every single day and get going then we have a section to write down your ideal wake up time so write down when you want to wake up it can be 5 am 6 am 8 am whatever is your ideal wake up time just write it down here next to that we have a section which says master your morning with some consistent habits so here you can write down your morning habits and next to that you can allot some time to complete that habit and you can just add up those time and write down the total time down here so what happens that we always uh, complain that we don't have enough time to do this we don't have enough time to do exercise we don't have enough time to drink one glass of water in the morning but it hardly takes like 2 minutes 5 minutes or 10 minutes of your time so just jot down your tiny little habits that you want to do every single morning and surprisingly when you will add up those time you will find that you do have that enough time for example like you want to have one glass of lemon water every single morning so you can write it down here have lemon water daily and next to that time section you can write down it will take i guess 2 minutes to drink a lemon water so write down 2 minutes next to that then um, you want to work out in the morning and you can dedicate the time 30 minutes to that maybe you want to journal for 5 minutes daily in the morning so you can write down journaling and next to that you will write down 5 minutes so when you will add all this up then you will see that you can complete all this task in just 1 hour or maybe 1 and 1/2 hour which you generally used to waste <laughs> so this is a section which will uh, help you to be mindful about your morning routine down here we 
have a notes section which you can utilize in whatever way you want to you can paste a picture here you can write a quote here use it whatever way you want to on the side you have this section called high intensity morning checklist and low intensity morning checklist so by this i mean that every single morning is definitely not the same sometimes you are like super productive after you wake up or sometimes the weather is not good you are feeling uh, you know lazy so you don't have the same high energy intensity every single day so you can like divide your task as high intensity morning checklist and low intensity morning checklist so for example in your high intensity checklist you can keep 30 minutes of workout but maybe uh, on a like unproductive day or on a lazy day or on a sick day of your life you don't want to work out so you don't have to include that in a low intensity morning checklist the intention of creating this particular section is that you don't feel guilty about your morning routine uh, even if you are unproductive for that day so this basically happens with every one of us that whenever we have an unproductive day we feel like we are not doing enough we self doubt ourselves but this particular checklist of low intensity morning checklist where you will do your bare minimum you, you will still feel better you Will still feel happy that you did that so just distinguish those uh, energy level in your life and write down the checklist that you want to do in the morning looking for inspiration looking for guidance you can just come back to this page and see your morning routine and your nighttime routine so not explaining the nighttime routine it's like similar to the morning routine all the prompts are same here but it's just meant for nighttime routine moving on to the next page we have weekly routine section so first we have morning routine then we have night routine routine and then we have weekly routine section so we have three sections here where you can write down your weekly routine whatever weekly routine that you want to follow you can just jot it down here moving on to the next section we have the monthly reset checklist so as you can see on one side we have a list of uh, task that you can write down here and on the other side we have all the months here so basically in this monthly reset section you can just jot down few tasks that you want to complete every single month maybe at the end of the month or at the beginning of the month for example you have to pay your electricity bill every single month so you can just write down electricity bill and once you have paid it for january you can tick it here for february you can tick that here or you have to pay any kind of subscription every single month you can just write down that subscription here and just tick it it can be as simple task as planning for the next month so every single month like at the end of the month we go for a monthly reset and reset our life some way or the other so you can just make a list of tasks here and use this as a checklist to stay aligned and you know keep a track of all the monthly reset list now moving on down here we have these list section get your life together list so basically here you can make a list of things that will help you to get your life together you know whenever you are feeling messy whenever you are out of track for some reason so just jot down few things in your life that can get your life together in some way or the other you can just refer this for example it can be organizing your space uh, it can be decluttering your own, going for a date, it can be uh, taking a coffee break, whatever is that list for you. Kind of a self-care list, kind of a list that will help you physically as well as mentally. You can just jot it down here, make a list of things and whenever you are feeling demotivated, feeling out of track, just come back to this list and see what you can do to get your life together. Now moving on to the next page is habit building section so this page is totally dedicated for your habits so we have six categories here you can set habits for your physical health mental health productivity work or career environment and social media as much as it is important to build good habits it is also important to get rid of toxic habits so i have here this section called toxic habits to quit this year so you can write down things that you want to if it's any bad habit that you want to quit this year that you are trying to quit this year you can just make a list here so this page is totally dedicated for your habits moving on to this page we have the 2024 checklist this is kind of a checklist where you can write down skills that you want to learn this year books to read places to visit new things to try movies to watch series to watch so here you can make a checklist of all those things that you want to do in 2024 and moving on to the last page for the yearly spreads we have two notes section 
so this page you can utilize it in whatever way you want to notes pages are always welcome so we have two notes pages here in the yearly section so that's the end of all the yearly pages i have hopefully explained everything in detail and in case if you have any queries or any questions related to any of these pages please comment it down below um, i will definitely answer all the queries here and uh, uh, other people will be able to read your comments as well and, and also if you have any kind of feedback related to the life aroma planner 2024 please feel free to share with me any feedback in the comments section i will definitely take all those feedback and this will help me to improve the future products that will come from the brand life aroma